is a quick synopsis of what's going on in this video. We're exploring blooms. I'm gonna show you US Floetrol versus Australian Floetrol. And I'm gonna throw out a couple color combinations that always pack a good punch. Let's get this party started. What's going on, good looking? This is Gary and I am back with another video. We're gonna jump right in and I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. Let's go. In video 26, I gave you a bunch of tips on your blooms, but I really didn't bloom. So I gotta show y'all what I'm talking about. Using my own tips, I'm gonna show you my blooms. And before we go any farther, I just want to say thank you guys for helping me reach 1,000 subscribers, baby. All right, beautiful people. We are going to mix up some paints. Now, if you have not watched video 26, some of this you may not understand, but I don't use recipes most of the time anymore. I go off feel and flow. Here I have some of my pouring medium. And we're gonna mix up some new paints today. We're gonna keep it simple. We're gonna use uh, Cobalt Turquoise, which is by Master's Touch. And we're gonna use Oxide Black, which is by Amsterdam. These are gonna be both of my colors today. So I don't want anyone to be confused. I'm only gonna use white as my CA. Although the black will go up under my CA, it will be a pouring medium paint mixture and not a cell activator. Lastly, my cell activator is going to be Amsterdam Titanium White. So if I had to guess a ratio that this is near, it would be a three to one ratio. That's three parts pouring medium to one part paint. This flows off the stick very well. I'm gonna add just a dab, and I mean a dab more pouring medium. And about two or three drops of flow medium. Um, this is flow medium by Master's Touch, but it is similar to GAC 800. If you don't have either of those, water will work just fine. But as you saw, I literally added about three drops. I'm gonna do the same for our black.
All right, folks, now we are going to mix our CA and we are using US Floetrol. Let's just see about how much I have. Once again, I'm adding a little bit of flow medium, just a couple drops. All right, here's the consistency. I'm gonna put down some pillow. All right. This is our turquoise. This is my CA. So remember guys, working with uh, US Floetrol, when you first blow it out, it doesn't look like much, but look what we have here. Gorgeous. This is US Floetrol guys. I love my Australian Floetrol, but you can get some amazing results with the US as well. Take a look, guys. Look at that. Also known as liquid gold. This is our Australian Floetrol.
Once again, we're going to add our titanium white. And once again, we are looking at about a three to one ratio. Get you down there so you can see the drip off. Okay. Gonna use the same pillows coming out of the same container. Same paints. All right, here goes our flow trawl. Ooh, look at there, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. So you can definitely tell there's a difference. Um, two different products, but both amazing sale reaction. Beautiful sales. <laughs> Look at there, gorgeous, slightly different reaction. Okay, folks, here is our side by side comparison. There are some differences. So to the left, this is our Australian flow trawl. To the right, this is our US flow trawl. Both are beautiful. But the properties that make up these flow trawls are different. So you will get a different reaction. But what did we uh, do? Most of all, we kept it simple. Very simple recipe. Like I said, I don't use exact recipes anymore. Now, this comes from experience. So, this is why I recommend taking the course. If you don't want to take the course, that is completely up to you. However, there are a million different recipes out there. So, that's, like I said, that's up to you, whatever you decide. But I want to prove to you all that it can be done. Several people have asked me, Garrick, when are you going to do a big bloom again? Blah, blah, blah. So finally, I'm doing a big bloom again just for y'all. We're going to keep about the same colors we've uh, just played with, but I'm going to add an interference green to the base. And we're going to lay our colors just like we did. And I'm going to use my American Floetrol mixture. I'll stir it up just a bit.
I've been on my pain journey for a while now, and now it is time to talk about five color combinations that always pack a punch. One of my favorite yellows is this Benza, let's see here, Benzamedonion. I know I didn't say that correct. And Neon Yellow by Artist Loft. Whether you're putting it under your CA or the first color on top of your pillow, the yellow always finds a way to pop. And you never know quite what you're going to get. Sometimes the yellow stays yellow, and a lot of times it mixes in and creates some gorgeous colors. Here I'd use yellow as my top color under my CA, and look at how gorgeous it is. The purple lavender underneath is an opaque, and you can see how the yellow just eases itself in every groove, and I love it. Here, I use the yellow as my base color. Now, when I say base, I mean I put my pillow down, and the neon yellow was my first color. Look how it just pops. It just shows out when it wants to. And next, we have... Thalo blue or Payne's gray, anything in that dark blue family and magenta. This right here is uh, Deep Magenta by Artist Loft and this is Payne's gray. I am out of Thalo blue at the moment, so I can't show you that. These two colors, I don't know where the magic lies, but oh my gosh, you are always in for a treat. And it really doesn't matter how you layer it. You can put the blue on top of the magenta or vice versa. And this next color combination should come as no surprise. We are talking about teal and black. Now, one thing to note, it really doesn't matter what teal color you use. However, I've noticed success with teal, um, with using teal, it needs to be opaque. So I use an opaque teal and I always get dramatic effects. With the black, um, I typically use oxide black or carbon black. Now, so many people are afraid to work with greens. Greens are gorgeous. And if you aren't quite experienced in pouring paint yet, you may not think purple and green go together, but oh my gosh, do they, do they, do they. Permanent Green Light is one of my favorite colors. It's by Golden. And I will tell you that most purples react well with green. I have a little bottle of Violet by Premier. And this is Light Violet by Ultra, um, excuse me, by Artist Loft. Last but not least, we have our blue, orange, and gold. Listen, if you've been following me, you know this color palette is always up for grabs um i prefer laying the gold down first followed by the orange and topping it off with the blue i also tend to use darker blues like your paints gray and thalo blue as well typically the orange is semi transparent or transparent I use all kind of goals, so I think any goal will work. You know, I appreciate each and every one of you watching my videos. Thank you. Um, thank you means a lot. And I want to extend a personal note of gratitude to everyone that has been watching my channel lately. Um, just the awesome and amazing comments. And yes, I am taking notes on things that you guys want to see. And I will incorporate some of those things into my video. But for now, it's time to go rest. And remember, family, do everything with love. Love with love. Make love. Make music. Make art with love. And even disagree with love. Until next time. Have a wonderful day. Peace.